So the same things have been happening? Yeah, pretty much the, everything's the same. Cramps, diarrhea. Yeah. How's your appetite? I'm starving all the time. Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea what it might be? Hey, hey Mark, how you doing? Good nice to see, to see you again. Sam, if we could just be ready, okay? All right, so uh, everything kind of kind of the same and you're still having a lot of the same symptoms? Yeah, pretty much exactly the same. Okay. All right, well, that's actually good um, because it, it lets us know that, that what we're dealing with is what I think we're dealing with. And, and I've spoken to a couple of uh, my physician friends, including a, a colleague of mine uh, who's down in South America, in the Amazon. And, and what we think is happening, have you heard of a tapeworm? Yes. Well, what we think we're dealing with here is actually a tape snake. A tape snake? Yeah, uh, and, and essentially I have a rough diagram of it here. This shows the tape snake coiled throughout your lower gastrointestinal tract. And uh, you said you, you've been having an increase in flatulence, yeah? Yeah. Um, okay, well that, that's the snake belching. Uh, basically it's eating all the same things that you are. It it's gets belching. full and just like you do, it, it, it belches. The snake is belching. Yep. So basically, uh, we've got to get this snake out of you, obviously. And so we've come up with a procedure that we think will uh, help us do that. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and s sort of illustrate it for you a little bit before uh, we do it. Is this Here's common? the plan. We're going to take a sedate albino mouse, all right? And uh, this represents the tape snake. I'm going to dangle the mouse at the exit of your rectal cavity, or the anus. The tape snake, when it sees the mouse, at some point, uh, gets hungry enough, it will actually strike at the mouse. The hope then is that with the snake having emerged two to three inches from your anus, we should have clearance for Nurse Sam here to actually incapacitate the tape snake at that point. With that crowbar? With a tire iron, yes. I don't feel Hear good me about this. We have reason to believe that there could be a head on the other end of the snake, which if the snake was removed too quickly, it would still be conscious and thus able to bite you uh, on exit, or any of us, really. Oh, a two-headed snake. Great. I would like a second opinion. Oh, uh, no worries. Uh, Nurse Sam, do you? It's definitely a snake. There we have it. 